Welcome to the Wino Hour. This is Leah Something, and I'm here with my group of guy friends. I'm just kidding. Welcome to at least, <laughs> welcome to at least we tried. Um, this is episode five. Four. Four. <laughs> I even forgot the number after we just like repeatedly said it like a ton of times. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> episode <good>. four. <laughs> And it's a banger. You better fucking listen, okay, oh, you little yeah. tools. Okay, you little posers. You better freaking listen. And if you oh, don't wait, banger. listen, if I don't I even know her. Out, if I figure out you didn't listen to the entire episode, I will get you. Oh, okay, um, let's get started. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dude, Burn. what? Is everyone else turned on? Yeah. Oh. Burn, you had a busy <laughs> week this week. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> you had a busy week this week. So what uh what, what went down? What went down uh up in this Discord, huh? Uh I really don't want to talk about it. Oh, but oh, I don't God. the thing His is everything corrected. everything has been resolved. We did talk behind the scenes though. Um he did admit that what he did um uh, was oh, kind of fucked. Yeah, he did admit to I uh I'm sorry. I mean that did then we can't talk about it though. Yeah, let's talk let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it's just out of respect for dog. Let's just keep it short. Yeah, thanks um, for saying the name, by the way. Jesus Christ, <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't care. Right, just, just, you know, quick summary. You know, I mean, at least just be respectful. Yeah, just quick summary. Me and Bad Dog were going at it. Bad Dog thought I was being serious about this immigration thing that, like, he's not a real American just because his mom's American. <laughs> and we got to, like, this gay fight where he actually thought I was serious about it. And then Dog got for some reason insert himself into the conversation thinking that I was really serious about it. Um, and then it turns to uh, a personal matter of mine that Doug, that Doug did make fun of. He did admit that he did it in the apology. Um, and then we went to a Darcy Evans bit where he went to his private sector and talked about it with his private person. And I made fun of that. Um, and then I, I went on stream and I talked about it and then he entered the stream screaming at me, uh, and everyone was laughing. <laughs> now, but, um, with all this, right, I just have one question, right? Okay. Was it hard to admit that either of you two were wrong and sorry? Um, on my end, I was definitely, uh, I mean, I shouldn't have streamed it, but I also was kind of pissed off at the same time. And he was kind of pissed off that I streamed it, but he Ooh. also admitted that, uh, that's the name of this, that's the name of this episode. <laughs> good one. Is good it one. hard uh, to say sorry? Yeah, I was definitely like, I did say sorry to him, but, uh, how it went down. And he also said sorry for what he said about Ooh. my personal situation. Right. Oh, Lamp's um, finally here. But, yeah, up, Lamp? Me, me and him did talk it out, and everything's good. Oh. Uh, the bridge is... I'm going to be real. That, that drama, that shit was fucking stupid, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. That was <laughs> it was. Stupid. It was really it was so stupid, dumb. but it's All funny. Right, I'm fucking, we're fucking waiting on this thing for a long I was trying to have it simmer, but I can't. I'm, I'm like an antsy little kid in the candy store. Fucking maggot edits, Dmax and Peepaw, guys. Holy shit! And then the now recording Dude. podcast dropped on it too. They had the same take I had. What? You what is the panel thing? All right, Leah. Leia, go you, ahead, Leah. Go ahead, Leah. Don't you mean like Tipster three point oh? Tipster number one. <laughs> tipster number two. Tipster number three. <laughs> oh, They're all Tipster. Whoa. Hey yo. Oh my God. I just wish it's not that, like, bro. When Peepaw came out online with the. Hey guys, I've been thinking about this for a while. I think I'm gonna leave commentary. Ha, ha. I'm like, bro, over this? Yeah. The, over the, bro, what? All you had to do was like, all right, hey, there was an L text. Dude. I, uh, it's not like I haven't had L takes before. Bad dog will tell you all the time. I have L takes mm. all the time. Oh, yeah, we, we saw it live. We did? I have yeah, had remember? L takes. <laughs> Everyone remember. has not. Last year? Oh, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not handle Don't that we well. Know. I learned from that yeah. one, though. I wish everyone learned from that one, but I guess... Well, I mean, the funniest part is, like, it's not It's not even just he had an L take. He got called a dumbass and then left. Yeah. Like, imagine how many times people hear, like, it, especially out of us six, like, imagine how many times someone thought we were a dumbass for what we said. And imagine mm. we just like, oh, well, you know, I'm out of here. Sorry, I'm out. And I can't take this no more. Here's all my money. Um, I was embarrassed, like with Secondhand how I was with the lab, si lab situation, and the Nick 
conversation. I literally added nothing to that combo. I no, took that as we an needed L. to know. We needed to know the dick defense. Okay, but I took that as an L. So, like, mm-hmm. the point is, everyone has fucking L's. Mm. I've had like three of them, or four. Like, take a fucking L. Walking. Learn, learn how to fucking deal with it. When you have a stupid take, commentary is gonna shit on you. If you're gonna sit here, maggot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you out. If you're gonna sit here and fucking say that commentary is malicious because we don't agree with your fucking group think, or that we're all snakes because we don't ally with your with your group's ideals and values or freaking agreements or fucking echo chamber, then you're a fucking cunt. You're stupid. You're literally Ooh. stupid. You are literally tipster right now. And it's so funny. It's hilarious because like, I don't know. I'm just heated. It's, it pisses me off. It's like, you're going to sit here, criticize tipster for like months on end Mm. And pretend like you've never criticized him before and all of a sudden have a problem that other people are criticizing him. But then on top of it, you're going to exit the same com- community that Tipster left the same way that Tipster left. Really? The exact same way. Mm. My Wait, really? all, are them. all of them leaving? No, no, no. I think so. My, I think my, all of them are leaving. They're, I they're think not, it's going. So they're not leaving, leaving like the way people they're left? Break, they're though. just... They're like, hey, I'm not part of this community no more. Uh, the thing that's that gets leaving, me, bro. The thing that gets me is that they they have no problem joining in on the dog pile, but the minute the heat is turned on them, they they kind of just cope and they can't take the same criticism. I mean, come on, come on, guys. We're just asking questions, right? Aren't we just asking questions about the three of them? Why are they? Why do they have these bad takes? You know what I'm saying, bro? That's like, I don't get, they, like, not to defend Slug or anything, but they've berated Slug into the ground, right? Yeah. For his takes. And the minute someone else has the same kind of energy towards them, they act this way. I, I, I honestly, maybe it's my fault. I honestly held D-Max and Peepaw up to a, a standard of credibility, you know what I mean? And it just, I, I felt like... They ah. failed my expectations in this situation. It wasn't even that big of a... It's not even like a serious situation, like a serious stop. You know what I mean? This is like yeah. a, a nothing burger. And they just kind of... Just the way they've acted just kind of blew it out of the water for me. And I, I'm I'm befuddled. I'm perplexed. And I'm absolutely going over doing backflips in my brain right now. I'm like, why Why did this strike them so hard? Mm-hmm. And then D-Max... He honestly made the, my perception of it. I'm not not gonna lie. He tried to meme it up a little bit. He made my perception of it way worse with the the commentary war two merch. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on the fence. I know he was making a joke about being a fence sitter or whatever. He wants to be neutral, but it's like that's literally what Tipster does. He fence sits, right? He never picks a side. And then if you call him out for it, you're wrong. And it's yeah. you, you were just making a a a, a joke, and it, I don't I don't understand, bro. Maybe it didn't land with me. It just kind of felt pathetic to me. And then on top mm. of that, I got fucking secondhand embarrassment, fucking secondhand cringe when his mom started defending him. <laughs> that was I the get, worst part. I get his, him and his mom have like a really good relationship or some shit like that. But if my parents did that, I'm, I'm not coming back. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not coming back. But Dude, I, I like D Max, bro. I like D Max. It's just, I don't know why. I like Maggot too. I don't know why they're like so sour. They've they can't take on been, the chin. No, they've always been like this. They've always they? been like this. Yeah, yes. I mean, they're Beavers just had a showing... point on the now recording episode where D Max will like take jabs, and then when people start like uh, freaking out and reacting to it, he pulls back and does the whole "Whoa, guys, I wasn't being serious. It's just a joke thing." Like I saw that with this situation. Mm. It's. Like you said, Lamp, like, when he's weak. poking at the commentary to war stuff, like, yeah. Lamp, I do agree with you where he does do that, but he also takes it to the extent, extent where, like, the common phrase amongst these people is, well, I don't really know a whole lot about the situation, so, um, you know, I'm just going to give my take without knowing a whole lot about the situation. Like, that K-Huck stream, 
yeah, Magnetar seemed a little bit suspicious in that episode, but Matt. Leia, did we lose Leia? Dude, Leia got got. Dude, Talk D-Max shit. got her. D-Max Talk shit, get hit. The CIA sleeper is coming for us. <laughs> Sleep it, bro. They, they're, in the, they're in the fiber wire. Yeah, that's what took me. That's what took me like five minutes to join the call here because my fucking Discord. Got Your crashed. sleeper agent got you. <laughs> God damn, is Leia ever gonna come back to finish that? No, no, unless oh. you tried. <laughs> look, look, no. So look, should weird, I pull? Bro. Should we pull Tony in for his take? No, no fuck no, no dude. No, no. Like, I, oh wait, I dude, I almost, I almost said something. You guys are gonna have to censor. Holy shit! <laughs> Would it be the first time? Yeah, true. Oh, dude, maybe we can censor like 30 minutes of this podcast. I left it in last, uh, the last podcast. I left in the part where you know we said something and then we rebuttaled and said, make sure you cut that out. But, dude, no, oh, I saw that. On. Nobody questioned that. I left that in there for someone to find, but nobody questioned No, it. I, I'm pretty, no, I literally questioned that in, in the fucking comments. Well, yeah, you did. I was waiting for someone else to. And I was wow, gonna, nobody. I was gonna, Fuck you, you're dude. a nobody, all right? <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking nobody. I saw your uh, comments. I was like, oh, it's Echo of Tragedy. And I know if I said something smart, you would have said something smart back, and I would have got roasted. So I didn't want to engage yeah, that fight, all right? Fair, I didn't want to take fair. an L on my own fucking channel, okay? <laughs> like, I listen to most of our content and most of like other shit like at work, so I miss a lot of shit when I'm like out of my van and shit, though. Mm. Dude, mm, I was, I'm honestly no, so dude. upset about this whole peepaw thing bro like i fucking love peepaw no but I bro, that's said what I'm saying. was weird i even said this to k-hook a long time ago i was like dude i don't know what it is about peepaw he's just weird he rings my tipster bell and i think he's like overly nice i think he's honestly what i think happened because he always refers to his earlier life i think he he might have been an asshole like just a piece of shit human and now well, you didn't hear that life, recording no what what do you fucking what is it alex posted this recording of like there was this time when like people was talking about like yeah when i was younger i used to be a real stallion i used to like rough up people like he said in like the like not gonna lie the cringest way and then alex put like the fucking like a fucking like hard ass fucking soundtrack in the background wait for real mm. and, yeah like yeah, literally it's like a cinematic edit of uh that speech yeah i know what you're talking about he posted it back in like uh august or september of last year i need to see oh, yeah, that. he then he re and then he retweeted it and like I called it, and it's like like you, I kind of did get that vibe before, but it's kind of hard to take like the way people act. I always feel like people is like the guy that if a bar fight happens, he goes, "Oh, guys, let's not do this right now. Come on, think about the you know think about the situation we're in." Like I I don't expect people to be like hard ass. Like he doesn't come off like that. <laughs> and the thing with this this whole situation though is like it's extremely disappointing mm. to say like. I, I like I had the exact same opinion as them. I just wasn't as vocal about it at first. Oh, wow. Like me and me and Kanthonic talked about this. Like we we were talking about this like a day or two after the maggot stream, and like we basically got all right. I was never going to talk about it publicly unless it came out publicly. Yeah, but like we were talking to Lamp about it, and Lamp basically like, yeah, no, I don't know. There's really nothing here. Like it's just speculation at this point, and you're just going to make yourself look stupid. Yeah, mm. like I literally told told them when they were looking into it i was like look magnetar said that the statute of limitations goes in like january for this and right now it's too soon after the mama, mama max drama to really be pushing this i would at least wait until his timetable expires yeah. and then you can be aggressive with it yeah but for now it's just speculation and it's not worth it mm -hmm. yeah and the thing is like i got grilled in the now recording server because I had this opinion, what if and I literally, I literally owned up to it. Because like, yeah, you know, I did have that opinion. This is why I had that opinion. And not only is it careless that I had this opinion, at any moment in time, I could have contacted Magnetar directly to like erase the suspicion. We had open DMs. I had asked him stuff before. Why did I never reach out to him to figure this shit out rather rather than just believe it and not even care? Mm. Oh, accountability, accountability. Yeah. Not, yeah. but don't worry, and dude. For, I'm donating. Don't I worry, guess, I'm donating the money tomorrow morning, and yeah. then I'm out. And for <laughs> Peepaw not being aggressive, like, you know where like the slug shut the fuck up meme comes from? That's when like Peepaw went at slug, 
I mean, they went at each other and slug fucking, you know, booted him from the call and did his gay little bleep shit. But, like, Peepaw came at him. It was pretty epic to watch. I was once I was once in a VC with Shadow Humor and Peepaw Riveter. And Peepaw mm. said, I'm not going to debate Shadow Humor because I don't do blood sports. Mm. So I always held him to that. And then over the months... He started getting into it with shadow humor. And then I'd say, Peepaw, this is blood sports. He says, no, this is just jokes. I was like, okay. Then he got into it with slug. And I'm like, Peepaw, this is blood sports. He's like, no, these are just jokes. So, okay, okay. Now there's this magnetar stuff going on. And I want to say, Peepaw, you're, you're kind of poking the bear for blood sports. And this isn't mm. jokes anymore. I don't know. I like Peepa, but he's given me the tipster vibe. Maybe he beats the allegations for me. He beats the tipster allegations for me. Well, how can he? He's gone. Yeah, he'll be. Unlike, <laughs> unlike the only thing tipster has on him is that tipster is actually still around. Well, no, tipster left the community, and and he, tipster left the community like six or seven times. At this point, this is the longest I mean, trick he's gone oh, not shit. in the community. But I'm just times. saying, like, Peepaw hasn't uploaded nothing. I don't, even, I don't really see any of his tweets. Like, unlike fucking oh, yeah. tips, I this mean, guy's yeah. gone. No tip, but okay. But the thing is, tips are left the community. Peepaw mm. just left the internet, and if he does plan to come back, he's not going to be in the community no more. Mm. It's just that why could none of these people just say, you know, what? yeah, I did fuck up. Like, even if I don't like Magnetar, let's. They could literally just say, hey, yeah, I don't like Magnetar. And that made a fucking bias for myself, and I made the wrong assumption, and I'm That's sorry about that. That's what I'm saying. It's like with okay, all they have to when do. When I did the demented interview, right, and I threw Slug under the bus, I don't. I mean, mm. I'm okay with Slug now. He's 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 vibing. He's chilling. But it's like I, I fucked up. I publicly stated that. Okay, I fucked up. I threw Slug under the bus. I shouldn't have done that, even though it, I didn't like him at the time. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not that hard. It's literally not that hard. I I genuinely am sorry that I did that to Slug too, because it was. Pointless and stupid, and I, I, I had my horse horse blinders on. I was just, just pure seethe, right? Seething and coping hatred energy, right? Yeah, that's all I'm getting from this. They're just like, they hated Magnetar so much that no matter what truth you revealed to them, they refuted it with their own eyes. And people yeah, well, got caught all, up with well, this because he was going, "Yay, go D Max! Yay, D Max! You got this, D Max! I believe in you, D Max! I will, I will ride with you on your horse into battle." And D Max ended up getting the shit end of the stick on that one. Yeah. Well, also D Max. I mean, Tommy C. In, Tommy C. And even like brought that up. It's like even like when like you were like the people were giving him like evidence, and even Magnetar gave a statement. He would say, "I don't trust that at all. I don't care. I don't trust that." So, like, even then, like, it didn't even really matter to D-Max. I think, like, his stint with fucking now recording, just a speculation, like, gave him a huge ego. Like, this guy had a bigger ego than Actman, ironically. Yeah. You think? That's what happens yeah, I, in some of these. I, I mean, this guy, fuck, like, if this guy's the last man ass standing. Get an ego Why do you? This podcast, okay. I'll kill you. But it's happened before. Women well. recording, right? It happens in this community when a new podcast starts. Hopefully, we don't die out like the rest of them, guys. Come on, let's let's egos aside. You know, I think we have a few people picked other. out that we're gonna throw under the bus for this, don't we? I, I have a few. Uh, probably have burn. A few. Probably oh shit! Burn. Wait, if you guys don't know, then I think you guys know. It's probably burn. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! If you do that, fuck you, buddy. Stick Look, yeah, actually, the the funniest shit is the safest answer you guys could have given was Leia because she's not here. Oh yeah, but you guys straight went. You guys straight went for fucking burn, regardless. Where is she? Well, I'm probably well, way more. I'm not gonna I talk guess, behind Leia's back. Burns here. I'm gonna just fucking talk to his fucking face and not talk behind his back like a little <laughs> soy boy bitch. <coughs> Who would ever talk behind someone's back in this community? That's fucking crazy. <coughs> I know uh, someone. This four letter word. What? You know someone with you a know, four letter word? Yeah, it's four letter word for a giant fucking pussy. What? What? Yeah, we talked oh. about him earlier. Holy shit. Oh, doll, you say you burned on it. <laughs> what the? Oh, dude, fucking, yeah, I just, they went I'm to just... their own sector to talk shit? What? Well, what I wouldn't say that. They didn't go to their own sector. They're still here. Oh. It's just, I'm, I'm done with fucking pussy shit. If, you, <laughs> if you're going to say... No, no. It, my Okay, this is my thing with Doug, all right? If you're going to fucking apologize to me, and I don't see it because I'm not fucking paying attention because you're being a dick in my DMs, 
You don't get the fucking right to fucking few minutes later start calling me a fucking pussy and saying I'm not a real man because I don't want to fucking take your apology when I'm not paying attention to it. And they'll try to delete it so that I can't see it so that I can't fucking grill you on it. Like, no, dude, fuck that, dude. Like, I've, I've let this guy slide so many fucking times. I've literally fucking stuck my neck out for him because when he's acting like a fucking Spurg in, like, multiple different servers. And I was like, mm. dude, like, I hear you. I know you're talking shit behind my back. I've heard the shit you said behind my back. I just let it go because you're Doug. But no, fuck that. Like, I'm, I'm done. He's a creator I don't... now. He's going to be held exactly. to the same standard. Doug, if you're listening to this, bro, you're a creator now. I'm pretty sure Matt Pitts told you this, Doug, but... You're you're in the same ecosystem as all of us now. You're swimming with the sharks, buddy. Yeah. You're going to be held to the same standard. I mean, if we're going back to that lamp, I have a I have a question for you. Oh shit. Yo, what's up? Okay, so I took it as a threat, but I guess for the for the recording, what did you mean by if I didn't if you didn't have this private call, I would have gone to Twitter about it and roast you do over the calls what did you mean by that no i mean when i've had that discussion with you privately i said yes. that i could have went to twitter and been gay about it but i'm not going to because that's fair to you okay you see okay burn when you told me that i'm like no i'm pretty sure he meant it this way and it literally was the exact way i thought okay i was like, being a, yeah i was just I was being, being retarded because okay. like that's oh the way so operate. lamp confronted like, like you fair Lamp confronted you one on one and told you, yeah, Yo, just, this is what it is. If you want to be I gay mean, about it, originally I can go to it was supposed to be, you know, Doug and Byrne having their conversation with me as a mediator. Yeah. But Doug wasn't comfortable with it and pulled out. And I was like, well, uh, can I still talk to you anyway? Because, you know, I do want to tell you some things. And it's mainly just uh, Byrne being a little bit of a hothead and taking shit too seriously. Welcome back, Leia. Yeah, just like, oh hey Leia, you you joined during the dog segment. And it's not like, and, and it's not <laughs> fucking, and it's not like you know harsh criticism. It's just like you know some friendly advice, basically. Yeah, I know. I, I got. Like, that I'm not part. being malicious with it. Like, if I was being malicious, I would just drag you on Twitter. Like I said, I'm just being fair to you as okay. a friend. Let's read. Well, I don't know. Minutes. Commentaries filled with a lot of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah, dude. Okay. Where is I'll, I'll, yeah, take I'll, I'll take I'm that. I'm here. What? Oh, Anyways, let's <laughs> let's <laughs> rewind 15 minutes before Leia got cut off by D Max and his internet ninja skills. All right, what yeah. were you saying, Leia? Um, like just because I watched the K Huck uh <laughs> episode with uh Bagdatar and um. Yeah, Magnetar seemed a little bit suspicious in that episode. But, sorry, I'm coughing up a lung. I have the black lung. Oh, um, shit. Hey, I'm sick and tired of people going on to or interviewing someone or going on to a live stream and saying that they don't know particular specifics about a particular subject. They don't do any research at all. And they give a piss poor take on it, and then they blame others when the piss poor take happens. Like going off of what uh, Lamp was saying earlier about D Max is all right. Fuck it, I'm gonna rip the bandit off. What? So I was told apparently Maggot didn't even want to do that fucking episode. It was basically up to K Hook. K Hook really wanted to do it, and so Maggot didn't want to fucking like shut her down. So that's the whole reason that episode even fucking happened. So she's like gonna Maggot, have... Maggot didn't did want all to the be research there. on the Magnetar uh, interview. So she, but Matt K Huck also acted as if th they weren't familiar with said topic either. So how did you get Magnetar on your show? Yeah, like K Huck was prepared to talk about like Magnetar's like content, which is like creepy pasta readings and like the macabre stuff. They weren't really prepared too much to talk about Max from what I've heard from K Huck, but she knew it might you know steer in that direction a little bit yeah because because i was i'm not gonna, gonna i'm not gonna lie i was being a kind of a dick to kayak and i kept saying like hey i don't know if it's a good idea to have this guy on when you know it's gonna you know the loss is gonna come up i think it's better and smarter if you don't do it because my she kept telling me that it was not supposed to get brought up and so i just kind of just all right you know if he, if he gets brought up it's not gonna be because of kayak it's not gonna be because of maggot it's because magnetar really wanted to talk about it and at that point it's on him if something he said he's not supposed to, 
Mm-hmm. Like, you can't really help it. That's the whole reason they tell you not to go on. If you're going to go through a lawsuit or legal, like any kind of like legal dispute, they say don't go to interviews because you never know what you're going to say and what's going to be used against you. Which I don't think she really said anything that could be used against them in that in that type of episode. Your Miranda it just led to this. No. Yeah. I just, I, I think it's hilarious because it's like, hey, Huck, how did, if you are going to interview Magnetar, especially after the Mama Mac stuff, how do you expect for the conversation not to be like that? I mean, and- the thing is that it would have to be an interviewer that would be like, hey, no, 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 we're not going to talk about that. Like, I don't feel comfortable with that because I'm not too, like, well-versed on it. But Kayak's not that person. Kayak lets people talk about what they want to talk about. That's the whole point of her show. Mm-hmm. And it just doesn't work in that kind of format if you're not going to be prepared for it. Mm-hmm. Um, just my advice is be prepared next time. Like, I'm sorry that episode sucked. And is... Maggot, like, all because she doesn't want to cover a topic, Maggot shouldn't fucking half-ass it. Like, she was specifically confrontational towards Magnetar in that episode, where Magnetar was like, she's like, um, the cop thing, where Magnetar's talking about how Mama Max called him a pedo, and then she's like, well, did you call the cops? And Magnetar's, yes, I actually did. And she got fucking owned. It's the same thing with D-Max, what Lamp was saying earlier, where he gives a bad take, the chat re- responds to him, and they're like, wow, that's a pretty dumb take. And then he's like, oh my god, guys, why are you coming at me? I was yeah. just goofing. It wasn't really like, my point. It was mainly the point Beavers had on the now recording episode from yesterday. How mm. how are you, like, and I get the now recording guys are giving, they thought D-Max was a great bit. I at first thought D Max was a great fit too. I thought it was actually wonderful. I, I like it some was, of it was literally my favorite for a while. I thought he was funny. But how do you not know the fucking lore about things and then get pissed off at the audience when people call you out on it? I'm sick and tired of people getting things wrong on these mm. particular shows. This isn't the first instance where K Huck has gotten something wrong. This isn't the first instance where K- something has gone bad on K-Huck's show. It's like, take fucking responsibility. If you're going to interview someone, do your due diligence and maybe, like, look into the look into things. Mm. Well, like I, I guess, I guess oh, my question ahead, is, like, what else did k get, like, what else did k get wrong? There I mean, they a, didn't. They didn't know nothing about the situation. Yeah, there but, was a but, part where, where they were speaking about Haley, and they got something specifically wrong about Haley, and Magnetar corrected them. There's like Magnetar correcting them about the whole situation on on numerous occasions. I can't yeah. remember specifics. Is this why Abby Blackbird threw K Huck under the bus? On Twitter, uh, that that's a different thing, but uh... it's it's it didn't even need to happen though. It was like such a retarded like she okay yeah she can get her dunks on on D Max and people and Maggot, but like why throw fucking shade at Kehuk? Kehuk had literally nothing to do with like any of the shit that she was trying to throw at Kehuk. Because Kehuk, I I love Kehuk and I don't want to be rude to her or anything. She's great. She's a great person, but she is too fucking nice. Way too fucking nice. I think I think she tries a little too hard. In my opinion, I like her. I think, but I think I she's think... like she sees she sees sub counts and numbers first, and then like what isn't Magnetar like a big creator or something like that? Yes, so and she I, even talked about his sub count. Yeah, on like, the channel, like a, I didn't see that one, but I, the way I see K Hook saw an opportunity, and then and then took it. And then kind of fumbled it a little bit, you know what I mean? And I, I, you know what, Echo, since we're ripping the Band-Aid off, oh, we're, God. the low gals, I'm going to just fucking say it. I, I know Pizzle and Liana. I'm, I'm, Pizzle, Liana, I apologize if I'm bringing any kind of drama. We'll talk about it on low gals. Mm. But there was a specific time where K-Huck was supposed to have all three of us on her show. All three of us. She had oh, scheduled yeah. us for an interview. We were going to do it. Then drama ha- drama happened with the weird caller guy. She backed out of it. She canceled on all three of us three different times. 
three separate occasions canceling because they had stuff going on. And then we find out it's because of the weird caller guy drama. That's why they didn't have the show. I think that and then literally they, happened after, right that, after my like appearance on your show, right? Like yeah. Like right before then, Christmas. Yes. And then even after that she comes to us and is like, okay, I'm ready for an episode. And it's like, no, I have other things to do. Sorry. I don't have time to be on your show. I have other shit, other shit to do. Yeah. Mm. Like you missed, which you missed your, your shot. Is fair, which is fair enough from your end, because it's like, you know, when you work full time and you try to make time for things and it just keeps happening, it's frustrating as fuck. I understand that. I think Kate's needs... caught up in trying to be the right person all the time. She wants yes. to be on the right side of everything. I Kay, I can feel this and I love you, bro. But listen, just take your L's and keep going. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta freak out over every little thing. You're still the same person at the end of the day. You're not it's not like you're yeah. snaking any of us. You're not fucking throwing us under the bus. You're no, at least she's not and, doing like, the shit. Exactly. Oh, go ahead. Flat, like, flat. like we're gonna call you out because we hold you to the same standard we hold everyone else to. Yeah. But when stuff happens, like we're gonna call you out. That doesn't mean shut down. We don't want you to shut down. We're interacting with you based on the content you're creating, which means you're doing something. You're not just making noise. You're actually getting people to engage in the content that's happening on your channel. I wish I could have this conversation with her. Mm -hmm. But it seems like every time one of these 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 goody two-shoes people or something, something bad happens on their channel, and they just completely shut down, which is the yeah. wrong way to go about it. They either, you either double down or apologize and keep moving forward the show must go on and i really it it, it kind of bugs me a little bit because i feel like k huck yeah. is k huck's worst enemy like k huck bullies k huck the most you know what i mean i mean like this is something i've been saying for years ever since i started doing content again back in 2019 is that like the only person that can cancel you is yourself yep. yeah yep I've seen I've seen people like partner Twitch streamers get away with grooming allegations and fucking you know not lose their platform and just keep going. And I'll, like, I'll give... it's literally you only cancel yourself. Like if you don't cancel yourself, you can keep going. Damn, I would have loved I'll... to have seen you. You on will show, you man. will bounce back from it. No, I'll as give shitty credit. As that sounds. I'll give credit where credit is due. Like I. You know, K Huck at least isn't doing the shit that Maggot is doing behind the scenes. Like K Huck's actually just like being completely impartial. I didn't get an unfollow from K Huck. I didn't get uh soft blocked from um the private account, right? Yeah. Maggot's going around doing that stuff and then also complaining that it's happening to her while also being a tipster. While also saying, Oh, commentary's malicious or oh, uh I I I refuse to associate with snakes. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You were more than happy to exist in this space for a year, and now all of a sudden you have a problem because you didn't get your way? Fuck no. off. Fuck off. You made content in the name of con commentary. If you're going to sit here and point the finger and say everybody else is a snake, you're equally. You are just the same as... You're just the same. I'm seeing the same shit over and over again with the freaking Huggy drama. Where it's just like, you guys go around, that particular group of people goes around telling people what to think and how to think. Mm, Even with yep. the slug stuff. D-Max went ahead and said that I had slug talking points all because I, I was nice to uh, slug or shadow humor. Like, who the fuck are you? Are Who are you to go around telling point? people how to act? Mm. What's a slug? You know what? Point? You know what? If you guys want to leave commentary, go ahead, leave. Go start commentary too, and watch how much of a circle jerk that is. I mean, I, mean lost. I think the funniest part about it, in a way, is that like, like. There are so many people who are just, they're not mad at DMX and people. They are just beyond disappointed. Mm. And they're not following. They're not going to follow because they they don't understand why they're not owning up to it. 
Like it just it makes no sense because like this is like against like everything they all stand for. Like put making people take accountability and like owning up to when you're wrong. And they can't mm. do that simple thing. And it's the the fucking most infuriating thing, dude. Like I could I honestly I could have just said, No, I don't I'm not gonna fucking apologize to Magnet. Sorry, I said what I fucking said. If I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. I don't care. But well, no, that's I, not that's not the right thing to do it, though. I think I, I I think I what we're seeing here is something that happens in commentary a lot is when you start to make it uh somewhat like a, a figure in the community mm-hmm. you start to get like this moral like high ground or whatever this like this complex or in your in your mind where you like you're kind of just above everyone I, I guess yeah, even like right all uh, the time too. You gotta be yeah and all then all like time. when they get they get knocked down a peg they don't know how to really take it because they've been like not really like scrutinized before That's in the eye me, of commentary bro. so it's like um they're just not used to it and honestly like this is the worst way to react to it i think when you're in this community and you've been around it long enough where you're watching other people all the way they are going about it like this is how you ruin your reputation in the community you're obviously not fit for it right and i I say that specifically more or less to peepaw because you weren't made for this community obviously well, yeah. If you do come back, don't come back to commentary. Should if we... this is the type of way you're going to react, you shouldn't be here. Should we get K Huck in here? She's free right now, actually. Uh, I, don't I, don't... I wouldn't mind. I mean, uh, I I'll feel like nice. it's, kind of... it's not going to be a freaking blood sports. Like, I don't no. want her to feel like she's dogpiled or anything. I don't think I'm, it's not the I'm... dogpiling part. I think the problem is, like, realistically speaking, she's not like. In like any of the wrong part of this, so kind of feel like we're saying. misdirecting the yeah, yeah I just all wanna, the I all the criticism. Wanna, I just want to tell her what I what exactly what I yo just fuck you, K Hook. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just see just yeah, randomly. Well, because I I see where you're coming from, flatly, because we are talking about her on the show. So like, right. why not give her an opportunity to speak? Yeah, I see that. So I feel like we're just. I, mean, I, I don't we're not really talking like shit, but I always feel like I'm talking shit behind someone's back. I'm like, this is kind of. Kind of get you know. Yeah, what I, mean? I don't want to feel like I'm <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. for K Hug, but the way I can see it is she's just uh, this. You know, she's just kind of sad at the way all of this turned out. You know, with them like you know going to the extreme and like you know dying on mm. the hill, so to speak. But that's not her fault. But that she acknowledges fault. that they. She acknowledges that they that they you know uh, fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least she at least they didn't die on Lolly Hill, though. Yeah, she's just oh, sad. That, They're going I feel to. Like she's just. I feel because Badwick kind of <laughs> feels that way too. You know, from talking to him, he feels like you know it's sad to see the way it ended, but he acknowledges that they fucked up. But happy that it made it onto Turd Island. I'm gonna be bad no, faith. <laughs> I'm gonna be bad faith and say their next argument is the Lolly argument. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no more, his... no more lolly arguments, please. Okay, wait, oh, I... God. Okay, look, I'm just gonna fucking... make a video saying, "Is this lolly, and if so, why?" Okay, tipster. Wait, <laughs> wait, oh, okay, wait. Got, he's gonna. Say... I got, I got K-Huck, I got K-Huck. K-Huck. So we were literally, we were literally just talking about you mm-hmm. in regards to the Magnetar situation, and I had a a, a critical. We're recording, point. by the way. Yeah, we're recording. I just wanted to. I wanted, we were talking about you. I was like, we should might, we might as well just bring her in here so she can kind of defend herself. I okay. Think, I was saying, Uh-oh. I think, um, because you you shut down after you know you get some you know you take an L or criticism like that. And I was saying, I don't think she should should do that. I think that's the wrong way to go about it. And I, I just want to let you know, face to face, that I think when like say if me and uh, Leia and Kathana come and we question like, hey, that that uh fucking lamp interview was horrendous and then you shut down i think you should take this as like a a as advice to be like no keep going because we we've been engaged with your content and leia also yeah brought up she, she dropped an interview and everything like that just, just yeah we talked going. about like, i talked about the low gal stuff yeah oh just don't shut down okay and i wanted to let you know that the majority of the time in this community you have been your worst enemy the past two times you've gotten to any like altercations and stuff like that and you've been almost canceling yourself with with your content i just want to let you know to your face just so you didn't see it on the recording and be like oh this guy fucking fly he's a fucking piece of shit bro i won't say that to my face you know what i'm saying yeah because wow. maggots just, maggots already I, calling people stinks so 
Yeah. I I I'm not getting myself about the Magnetar stuff. I'm 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 okay with that. Like whatever is said about what I what happened on that interview with Magnetar, if people have criticisms of it, then they can. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not upset by that. Like what? <laughs> what brought okay. this on? Okay. Well, <laughs> I, well, I, don't, I don't understand. So I, I did a have snake, a criticism. I did have a criticism when it came to the Magnetar stuff. I thought you guys weren't prepared, and I was perplexed as to why you would. If I, because I was, it was heard that um, you wanted to inter interview Magnetar, but you didn't want to talk about the Mama Max stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that you weren't going to stop Magnetar if he did talk about it, which he did, and you and Magnet Maggot were just weren't weren't prepared. Okay, I had messaged Magnetar. Let me let me just clear that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this will help or not, but this is this is my point of view and this is my story. I had messaged Magnetar, um, to see if he wanted to come on, and he he said yes. And I and I soon thereafter messaged him back, and I said, okay, great. We do not have to talk very much about Max or Max at all. If you do not want to, I just want to bring you on to talk about your content and what you are and what your content is about. Oh. That is my main goal. If you want to talk about Max, we can very little if you want to. But if you do not want to talk about him at all, we do not have to. Okay. And he said, no, we, we can talk about Max a oh. little bit. And I said, great, great. And I said, okay, because, you know, it might come up, it might not, but if you want to, you know, clear, clarify, or I was thinking this, I don't remember if I actually said this or not, but I was thinking, okay, if you want to clarify some stuff, then cool, but I'm like, okay, great, I'll have to go back through the DMs and actually go through them and remember. Brought him on. I said to him on the stream i said you know what let's just rip the band-aid and just get it out of the way <laughs> you know how how have you been feeling about everything and that's when the conversation led into what it did um did maggot want to do that episode um i did tell her about it and she said okay i don't know very much about him but I, honestly uh, okay I, that i believe that that is what is said i don't remember exactly but I did tell her about it, and she said, okay, and that's all I, I truthfully, I really remember. I would have okay. to go back through the DMs and actually uh, remember exactly, oh, but no. when no. I when I ran it by her, she said that that was okay. Okay. I, I feel like my one criticism is, for you guys, is just, like, next time be prepared. Like, if, if, some, if you are looking into someone, and it's not just you specifically, K-Huck. It was more on Maggot, where it's just like, if you don't know what you're talking about, just don't give your take. Just don't talk. Well, I get it's that, and that's fair, but I didn't, but to, but and from my point of view, I brought him on to talk a little bit about Max and to talk more about his content, and that's what we were shooting for. Now, did that end up being the case? Yeah, I, I, you know, to some people, no. To some people, yes. I don't know. But I, I mainly just brought him on just to talk about his content. Okay. So that, that that's all, that's all I can really say about it. Um, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't find any, like, difficulty or whatever with people having their take on my interview with him. That's fine. I'm I'm open to criticism. It is what it is. I'm yeah. not shutting down about anything. I'm yeah. not I'm like, hey, bring it on. Like, hey, you know, I don't care. I'm not shutting down about any criticism of it. I I truthfully have haven't really heard anything besides just now, to be honest with you. So yeah. if 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 there are some criticisms with that interview that people feel, then okay, they have every right to them. I'm not going to tell them no, but I, you know, and okay, what since it got brought up with the low gal stuff, that was 100% my fault, and that was me being an idiot, and I told you that, and I told you Pizzle and Liana that, and 
I haven't reached out about that since because of me being the idiot that I was and I was embarrassed oh. by that and you know that and yeah. I and I that's why I haven't mentioned it since it but since it got show, brought up K-Huck. You run a good it, show. I know it would have been I know I know yeah that, I know that was my point about, about shutting down I think whatever fuck weird collar guy put that shit aside if you would have just kept well now I know that <laughs> That, that was what I was talking about, the shutting down. If you just hammered through and you got those three episodes out, right? Or just got all three of them together for one episode. I know. I know. I know. And beautiful. But I know. Well, I also say this because. Trust me, I'm kicking myself over it. But Trust I, me, I'm kicking myself I also, over it. I also want to acknowledge that something that K-Huck is doing that Peapaw, D-Max, and Maggot can't do. There, K-Huck is over here saying, oh, yeah, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson uh, not to do that again. Or I learned my lesson moving forward. That's the importance. Instead, they're just running away. The other thing is, I'm very critical. Like, if I watch somebody's content and I genuinely enjoy them as a person, I get very critical about their content and what they talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. So, like, we we'll use K Hook. You're here, for example. That's why I'm very critical of you and your actions and how you move. I always question your motives and everything, only because you have me trapped in this. Same thing with Leia at times. So I'm always, I'm always scoping you out too, Leia. I don't think you're off the hook. Same thing with fucking uh, Cathanic over here. I'll watch his ass too. Mm-hmm. But like the way people talk and like, if I am intrigued and locked into your content, I'm always, I get very, very, you know, what is that called? Fucking horse going. blinders or some shit like that. They're oh, I get, very, vision. Yeah, I get very critical about it and everything like that. So I usually I always say out of a place of like of care and everything like that. That's how my dad was raised, that's how he raised me and everything like that. So like when mm-hmm. when Peepaw and Dmax were talking about this other kind of thing, uh, I genuinely really enjoy watching them. But it was like, what the fuck are they talking about? If you don't want to make a fuck? comment, K Huck, because those are your friends, it's totally fine. Oh yeah, you don't about people on dmax yes and with and, oh wait and maggot oh uh, uh and maggot well all uh, all i will say is this and i said this on wednesday night stream and at the very beginning when everything was hitting and everything was going on i wish them nothing but the best and i hope that everybody is good yeah that's all i that's all i can say and I I don't know what all they're going through or what all they're thinking. I don't know, truthfully. Um, I can say that I've had uh, different, you know, uh, I've seen, I should say, different things go on and different, you know, happenings going on over the last couple days. And, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't control it as much as I would like to say, you know, um, I I want to be i want to help them or do what i can with them but i can't because they have to figure out what they want to do um i other than that that's all i can really say is that i i just wish them nothing but the best and hope they're good so yeah that's it that's all i got (laughs) and i mean i would say that regardless so (laughs) but leia i i do hope that since you since you kind of brought it up and i actually kind of want to say this too no i know that you and i'm not going on no (laughs) ma'am damn she did say that before you You know what leia you know what you know what let's start blood sports part two no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding (laughs) now you get to talk about my boyfriend this time (laughs) wait talk about it talk about her mom you know, I still no, fight don't that. Up the dead dad. I'm sorry, <laughs> but me kids. and Mister, no, seriously, <laughs> me and Mister, me and Mister Hug still laugh about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's we, a good laugh we die, time. we die well, laughing over it. <laughs> I do see where you're coming from. Where you would love to have the low gal episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I will put. I don't know about the other girls. Like, I'm not going to talk, speak for Pizzle or Liana. Yeah, yeah. I will put aside whatever happened with the weird collar guy stuff going on. I'll put that aside and just move on and Ooh. happy, be happy to be on. Yeah, no, of course. And I, and again, better, I know that you better get our background information right. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> yeah, remember, it's Leroy something, right? Leroy yeah. something. <laughs> 
And Leave uh, Leia's, my Jenkins. <laughs> and you gotta remember, you gotta remember, Leia is five three, not five six. Oh, shut the fuck up! You're. <laughs> I was gonna say no, she's not. <laughs> No, yeah, it's for that misinformation on accident. I remember talking to her about this the original time, asshole. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, when well, I had... See, I, I didn't remember it at all. I kept telling her when she was 5'3". Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, but it's no, I... what you're going through. Like, it sucks that you have to go through this. You see one side of the community fight with, like, the people that you're close with, and you're also close with other people on the other side of the community. Like... It just sucks. You, I know you like the now recording guys. I know you like yeah. Xylee. I know you mm -hmm. like Nicholas Diorio. So it, yeah, it just kind of mm -hmm. sucks to be in that position. I, I mean, I'm not. I that's the thing though is that I don't. Yeah, I do feel like I'm in some sort of a position, I guess. But at the same time, they're they're their own people. They're their own you know, creators, people, adults, whatever you want to call them. I, I am just me. <laughs> That's it. Like, I am just trying to just do what I feel is what I feel is right. And what I want to do with my own content, you know, like tonight I, um, had a Mike, the bike collab with him and his crew tonight. Mm -hmm. And it was really super fun. And then on nerdy Wait, live, what, we got, what fight got number one? Uh, he, it's, it's still going. I don't know. Oh. It's on Mike the Bike stream. Oh. Um, but you know, we it, all I want to do really is just you know make my content and just stream and just hang out with people. That and if people want to hang out with me, then they're more than welcome to do so. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> you know, it's I I don't want to get involved in any like sort of interpersonal drama because I truthfully don't have a dog in the fight. And even if I were to have a dog in the fight, then maybe my opinion would be a bit different. But I really just want to make sure that everybody is good. That's all I care about. And yeah. just, you know, me doing what I feel is best for me or best for everybody else. As for... You know, Peapaw, D-Max, and Maggot, all I can say is that I wish them nothing but the best. I hope that they're all okay. And if, you know, if they're not, they, and if they feel like they want to come to me and talk to me about it, they can. Um, other than that, that's really all I got. So, uh, other than that, I don't really get involved in interpersonal drama because I've got enough drama of my own going on IRL. Like, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, like, not saying that my life is my IRL life is terrible or anything, but I've just you know again I'm 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 a streamer on the side. I've I've said this from the get go. I'm a wife and a mama first, you know, yeah. and you know that's how I operate and that's how I've been now ever since making content. So I mean, whatever happens, they can come to me if they want to. I they haven't yet really for the most part. They've you know, been doing what they feel they need to do, and you know, I mean, if they ever want to come to me and talk to me, the door is open. So, I mean, our hiccups were on on this episode of um, at least we tried was just my hiccup with you, and then Flatley's hiccup with you. But we already just discussed it, so it's already clear yeah, up. yeah, so yeah. Of course, and fine. yeah, and I mean that's totally fair and that's totally legit. You know, and I I take that. I take that feedback or criticism, whatever you want to call it. I take oh, that and I'm like, oh, okay, that's fair. Like I, that it's, and also no offense, but it's not something that I didn't already know or that I'm trying to, you know, work on and trying to improve upon and, you know, want to make sure that not only am I, uh, you know, a good person to talk to, I guess, or, whatever but that you guys are w willing to talk to me or interact with me whatever i don't know leia you and i go way back <laughs> yeah so that's the other well, yeah, thing you guys, are both, that... you guys are both ex goth mummies <laughs> no no <laughs> not me <laughs> not me <laughs> but no, i'm an, no, e I'm an echo no yeah echo. no 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 <laughs> <laughs> i mean but, to be no, fair most women are i i oh, just I, I am I am not an ex goth mummy. I am not. Wait, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, this wasn't this one of the after tipster was gone. 
No, 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 no. I, this is like one of the no, this is like one of the facts I remember that fucking K Huck admitted like I don't know where the fuck it was, but K Huck was like an ex goth mommy. No, no, Zylee called me that. Zylee said that about me when I mentioned oh, wait, are how you I calling first... Zylee a liar? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> shut up. No, no Zylee she... sense. Zylee started that little that that little troll, if you will, when I brought up that uh, Tipster was like the first person that I watched in commentary, and she made that joke that I was an ex goth mommy. I'm like, gosh dang, nabbit! <laughs> so Wait, kind of... <laughs> and they kind of make you an ex goth mommy. You went to Tipster. I pipeline. guess. He he has no idea who the hell I am, but okay. Oh no, wait, he does because he blocked me. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> no, no. You see, he blocks everybody. You don't know if he knows who you are unless he complains to you to people around him. He has never. Yeah. I've I have only talked to him. Oh God, when was this? Like three years ago, two years ago, and I sent him a picture of Mister Huck's proton pack, and I said, hey. This is my husband's proton pack because I know you like Ghostbusters. Um, that was my only interaction with him. Literally, it. I think I even still have the DM. <laughs> if I if I were to go back and look, <laughs> but that was literally my only DM with him, and that's it. All so right. yeah. But... Well, thank you, K Hug, for joining us today. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Oh. Okay, well, I will be around, and I will talk to you guys all later. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye, right. guys. Get the frick out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all right, we're all blackballing here, right? Yep. Hey, hush, nice. please. <laughs> yeah. No, no I'm not blackballing her. Again, her. Now <laughs> she's I'm... the next. She's so the next on the list. Next tip. So here. after <laughs> after, after that conversation, like I'm less heated about it because she had the opportunity to clear the air. It's great that she came on. Because I did have criticisms for her. I thought the the Magnetar episode was like completely unprepared. And then hearing that like Maggot Maggot didn't even want to do the episode. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, okay. So, but anyways, I'm like, it's just, I don't know. It's just annoying. It Like, I'm sick and tired. Like I said, I'm sick and tired of people not knowing the lore about the situation and then speaking about it and then getting up in the air or getting pissed off when they get called out on their bullshit. Yeah, it's the same, I, and it's the same shit with like what Max is doing right now mm -hmm. where he didn't know the lore of everything or he didn't know what was exactly going on in the mom and Max situation then softly accused Magnetar of like uh, of scamming and we all know what you mean by when you say lol suit. Like that's lol suit. When I hear the word lol suit, I hear fictitious lawsuit. Yeah, I yeah. think of the uh, Maddox lawsuit against Dick yeah. Masterson when I hear the term lol suit because that's like, when that really kind of like got popular. Picked up. That's the, the only reason I know about it. Because the, the intention. Is, well, oh, the intention ahead. isn't just to fucking like. The intention of the lawsuit isn't to fucking like. Oh shit. I need to sue this person because they wronged me. It's because fuck this person. I hate them. I'm going to fucking take them to court for yeah. no legal reason at all. Chthonic, what did you want to say earlier before I interrupted you? Uh, you were now. saying something about like, uh, you were talking about how like people need to more do their more, like, due diligence, like with uh, like research and shit before like they stream or make a video. And I, I feel like, I don't know as a creator myself over the last year, making videos like topic videos and, and topic streams I, my biggest anxiety i guess going into doing all of it is the research because i know i overwhelm myself and i'll like watch like video after video after video i'll read tweets all fucking day about it and it, it is a little bit overwhelming i feel like people like don't want to do that but it's worth it because the quality of your content is so much better when you know what the fuck you're talking about I mean, I think part of it's also not just like, okay, just knowing about what you're going to talk about. But like, if you're going to question someone on it, you shouldn't fucking like go in unprepared about it. Cause like you could ask the wrong questions and then it comes off like it comes off the total opposite than what is actually intended if you knew what you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Like this goes into something I was thinking about too, because this, you know, uh, correlates to one of my upcoming videos. You guys remember when uh, Riveter made the tweet and pinned it about, you know, know uh, leaving and shit? Yeah. And yeah he just got absolutely bodied in the fucking replies and the quote tweets. Yeah. I was there. 
I'm making a ratio recap video about that tweet, right? And I feel like <laughs> I have to like, gather the entire story from, you know, where the shit started with D-Max calling uh, Magnetar out all the way to, you know, the, you know, the thread so that I have an accurate story. And I want to, like, put the timeline together in order so that people, you know, know what the situation is. Yeah. before i start reading out the tweets because i feel like if i don't present it there you know the story in its full context it's gonna trigger people or just like you know shoot my like shoot my like integrity as a researcher up i don't know it's just like i feel like it's necessary to add the timeline of events before i actually read this thread out so people don't just think the video is about a random fucking uh so yeah. I don't, I don't think a like, random dumbass. Let's say if you do get something wrong and you're a newer streamer, I don't think it's gonna trigger people in particular. Mm -hmm. It'll trigger, like maybe one person and be like, "Oh my god, you totally got this wrong! How fucking it's dare me. you! You're a piece of shit!" Right? <laughs> uh, but I think if you're like a newer creator and you get some things wrong every so often or not so often, then you're fine. But if it's on a regular basis and you're getting a lot of things wrong and you just don't know the fucking lore and then you give your take and it's a dumbass take and people are shitting on you and you, then you like cry about it, that's your fault. That is your fucking fault. Yeah, I think as you get the bigger, amount of times. I'm sorry, Leah. Go ahead. I think as you get bigger and your subscriber count count increases and you continue to get shit wrong, then it's like a big deal as well. Because I got um. With the Lyo Convoy coverage that I recently had, um, there was people in the chat that were saying a particular video from someone was deleted. And then today I found out that it wasn't deleted. So I was like, oh, okay. that queen person or whatever the fuck they're called. Yes. Um, so then I'm like, OK, you know, thanks for clarifying. It wasn't deleted. I'll go over that video on my next stream and say, hey, guys. This video wasn't deleted. So it's like doing your due diligence. And even if you get something wrong, you, you're transparent in getting that thing wrong and you correct it. So, yeah. yeah. And it going off of what you do, what you said, Lamp, it does take account of your credibility. Like if you're just going to spew bullshit, like, like our, our favorite person, Angry Slug, if you're just going <laughs> to spew bu bullshit, people are not going to take you so seriously. And then anyway. the one day that you do want to do a serious topic, let's say cover a very serious veto allegation, people are going to laugh at you. It's or not the take boy, you seriously. It's the boy who cried wolf. Like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. What I was going to say, and I didn't mean to trick, cut you off, Leia, but it's just oh, like, you, you know, it's the amount of times someone gets something wrong combined with the intention, the, like the intent with which the information is like, you know, conveyed as well because like you can get things wrong but you could mean well and not be attempting to like you know bury somebody yeah. but it's just like if you're getting something wrong and you're attempting to maliciously dig at someone people take an issue with it and it's just like people got a flavor like you know a taste of uh that vibe with like the dmax stuff because uh magnetar had like posted his response and his like receipts and stuff after the first line of questioning and then it gets turned into like oh they added this you know they added this timeline thing just now because we started pressing them and it's just like you know he could it could have just been an oversight on magnetar's side and it's been pretty apparent at least since uh before they made those like the call out posts because it's like the reason I told uh, both Echoes, like, I wouldn't go through with it. Because, you know, the timeline was pretty apparent in the fundraiser itself or the tweet that accompanied it when he made it. Mm -hmm. That the timeline was set for, like, you know, the end of the year. Yeah. And it's just, like, it may not have been as trans like clear to, like, some people, but I was able to pick up on it. Yeah. I think part of it is like I didn't even um I remember when you were telling us that that like oh yeah the statute of limitation ends this yeah at uh like in January I'm like wait how the fuck do you even know that because I had I've never like 
before that, I didn't even know that he even said on a stream or anything like that. Oh, I'm autistic with research. So, like, oh. when I, when I like, look into something, I'm trying to, like, you know, scour every nook and cranny for information. Like, well, you uh, see, I'm, like, the when... same way. Just I just didn't do that for this situation because it didn't involve yeah. anime. Uh, it didn't involve titties. And it didn't involve work. Oh yeah, God. like, last year when, you know, the Colleen Ballinger situation was going down, you know, when she made her, like, shitty little song with the ukulele. And yeah. people were getting copyright struck for it. Like, I was able to figure out that, like, you know, she's using a uh, third party uh, service to, like, get these struck down. And it's like, and it's pretty, like, you know, paint, like, cut and dry that she's doing it. Yeah. Because I had a mutual get struck with a uh, hit with a copyright strike on that. And they were freaking out in a uh, group chat on Twitter. And I took it upon myself to look everywhere for this. And I was able to find the uh, company. And I was able to find out that this company just, you know, they do the service of uh, finding the copyright and, you know, filing it. And the only way you can, you know, hire a company like that to do it is if you actually own the copyright. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have a bigger issue. Like, this just is breaking right now. Is it the crying um, thing? Is it the queen yeah. crying thing? Yeah. Like I'm I'm really fucking pissed. Like this is D-Max. just insane. <laughs> Echo Echo of Tragedy says happy happy international women. Oh Day. my god. And somebody loves you. And then post pictures. <laughs> funny. What the I liked, fuck is I liked, it? I liked it. Yeah, okay. You see, I thought you were talking about the queen and crying post. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it oh was my too good. I should just come up on my timeline as well. Yeah, well, because um, Toxic Piplup retweeted, I think, or something like that. What's the Queeman crying post? So, um, fucking DMX, on his most recent stream, bursted into, like, tears because Akira Toriyama, one of the greatest mangaka to ever live, died uh, earlier this month. Yeah, the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. And Dr. Slum. Yeah. Yeah, fucking, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little emotional when he died. I'm like, fuck, dude, that, that's like my childhood. That was the one anime you could talk about as a kid, and no one bullied you because everyone watched Everybody it. Everybody watched that shit, bro. I dude, don't you know how many... know the guy. I watched it, bro. Dude, he's like the Jewish person that you cried about the other day, but for anime. Dude, nah, I didn't cry about <laughs> Richard Lewis, okay? I yeah, was okay, just he's like, bigger uh, than the Richard Lewis, then. no. Fuck you. No, he's not bigger. <laughs> no one is Whoa. ever fucking bigger than Richard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ex- except for Akira Toriyama. No, that guy dude, is he, smaller than he Richard made Goku. Is. Dude, he made Goku, dude. Everyone knows Goku. Oh, my God. No, Who is Richard I don't Lewis? No, Goku. Who is Goku? Okay. Oh, my before, God. Shut the fuck up. Before we... <laughs> before before <laughs> we... <laughs> like, derail too far. Do you guys want to call it here? I think we've been going for a pretty good while now. Yeah, we're yeah, pretty good. I just, I just want to get one word. Uh, two two last things, all right? So first off, uh, Bunny would agree with me. That's why she's the best woman. Uh, second thing, oh. Burn, what the fuck What the fuck have you... What what did did you want to add anything since you've been like saying <laughs> this whole time? Oh, I'll just let you guys talk about this shit. I, I think I've said my piece. I think all these yeah, you guys... Yeah, you hate Doug. Doug. I don't fucking hate. I'm dogs. just kidding. <laughs> I think P. Paul River didn't have much longer anyway. Fifty-five, two hundred pounds. He he was gonna die in three years. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I have fuck, I have made a like, tired like, mistake. Uh, but and uh, uh, yeah, you you did make a mistake, man. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> like, what do you fucking think, man? Here and then Burns like, I'm racist. <laughs> well, okay. uh, yeah, I you damn right I am. Um, but, so, uh, I mean, I guess, like, so the D-Max maggot edits relationship is a meme that Nick made, right? No. I think it's a I don't thing. know. It's, it's, okay, so I've had multiple different people come to me behind the scenes. It, it apparently is a thing. Oh my uh, god. Uh, but he's fucking gay, how does that is, work? Uh, he's fucking, he's, uh, he's bisexual. Dude, I was, uh, dude, I why was looking like, dude, good. Wait, hold okay. on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Because, like, when Max, had, when D Max and I got into Bloodsports, he brought up the fact that he was gay. Oh, yeah. He's, 
He's bisexual. And I was just like, why would you bring up the fact that you're gay? Like, I don't care. No. I have a gay wife. Actually, gay no, no, wait, now I think... it turns out he's bisexual. <laughs> gay for clout. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> gay, no, 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 no. gay for clout. Gay for clout. What okay, the wait, fuck wait, is wait, this? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm gay. Stop. I'm, I'm gay. Yeah. Well, I guess okay. my final the reason... statement on this right, is that I think D-Max got protected and by too much by Coddled. not recording. Coddled and protected by not recording too much. Yeah. I think Matt Pitt finally like realizes that. I mean, he said it on fucking Tommy C stream. Uh, I think the fact that D-Max demanded money from LawCal Live for like shitty edits that he did for LawCal Live was ridiculous. I think his drama with LawCal Live should have been like the first eye opening that the community had that this guy isn't as isn't what he says isn't well, what he says he to is. To be fair, fucking what's it called? Like everyone on that recording agreed with Dmax on that situation. That asking for more money was not wrong, given that they added on a bunch of extra shit that they wanted him to do, which wasn't like initially clear. So now they just flip flopped on that because they don't like Dmax. No, anymore? they didn't. No, they never you flip flopped on my it. Wine. No, yes, we did. It was very loud. That, uh, that the editing deserved more I'm money, and, but I mean, Connor's the one reaping the benefits of that now. So, and, but to be fair, Connor lives is. in Texas. Two K, a lot more than fucking like. If I dude, if I got offered two K to do that, it's fuck that dude. I can make more if I just fucking just took an extra shift from my job. Yeah. Did you hear me drink my wine? No. We heard everything. You got to move closer. Heard it slide ask, down that goal. So does anyone want to ask me questions about the uh, the full cut of Conversation Street? Because I've been hearing about this. Dude, oh, uh, actually, we thank we you. We almost it? forgot. We yes. almost forgot about that. Almost forgot. Dude, this is going to be a okay, long episode. I, long I, guess, I guess I got to ask Lamp. Why did – if it's – like, it, it wouldn't have mattered if Doug didn't, like, out it's it out so on Twitter. Gay, why did bro. He... Why did he even say anything? Yeah, why did he say anything about the cut? So, like, Doug's reasoning for, like, making, you know, you know, like, removing that segment from the podcast was, like, seeing all of the, you know, all of the theatrics and the fucking backlash on, you know, Tommy C stream that day um, on the 7th. He didn't want to get caught? And he was, yeah, he, no, it's not that he was afraid what? for himself. It's just, like, he was, like, worried that, you know, Maggot or Magnetar would be harassed on either side and he didn't want any more harassment to spawn from a, p a podcast that he put out. That seems egotistical. I mean, but but is it really harassment if fucking people are just saying what the fuck they believe? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that, you, you brought that Like I I get maybe he doesn't show? want like he doesn't want like backlash. Like he doesn't want them to get backlash for it, but I don't I think wouldn't say it's harassment. Think about wait, Doug, you should have thought about the views. You know how many people would have watched the that money. shit? Just for that, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, like, you got to think about what the viewers want, man. Exactly. And we and, want and that segment. Wait, is, you okay, wait, I mean, so with I the, have with the, the segment, podcast, but with and you're like, dropping in here? Regards, I'm just kidding. Uh, regards to, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's Doug, you know, like, it's Doug's show, it's on his channel, it'll be his choice whether he wants to drop it or not, but I will tell you guys here that Maggot Edits also has access to the cut, and she has the opportunity to post that on her end if she wants to. <laughs> mm. Post it, where's Sean Bitch? Wait, wait, wait. Where the fun. fuck is this bitch going to post it? Yeah, is she going to post it on I Twitter actually, in, like, wanna, low quality? I wanna call oh, no, she's going like to post it's like it. Thir it's like a 35-minute cut. Like, you know, the segment. It's like a 35-minute cut. Maggot, you better not post it on fucking Twitter. She, post it on YouTube. She's going to post it on her private account. Which posted on Goyon TV. I want to call like, the reason the cut, even, the cut, like the full cut exists because I had the full cut made before the decision was made to remove it. Oh. So I just went back what? into DaVinci Resolve and you know put out the cut without it because you know Doug asked for it. I figured I mean, that's Doug's why. Show. Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Doug's show. Doug is getting better. mad that everybody is talking about it. By the way, and asking him about it. And Doug, I just got to say one thing, buddy. You are a creator now it is to be expected of you these things are going to happen expect them we want the sauce you i mean dangled he, it in front of us wait, i mean to be sauce? okay this is coming from me yeah, i don't even like doug fair, anymore doug wasn't the first person to what? mention that the you know that the segment was wait Leia, you missed Maggot it you had missed mentioned it, it the, on last weekend on twitter 
in a good back and forth with someone because I remember Pizzle posting a back and forth between I think Maggot and the one of the Clout Route guys. Yep. Where she said that you know she did the segment and it was mm. like, like to be fair, like Maggot didn't ask to have it cut out. It was just you know Doug's decision to cut. But it out. see, see, this is my thing, right? Is I I do this with a lot of the people. Oh, I mean, I've only done like maybe two of the three interviews, right? But I always ask, "Hey, is there anything you want me to cut out of this uh, the vod I post up that is that you want?" Like, because other than that, you came on my live stream, you said what you said, I'm posting the shit. Fuck yourself. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. yeah. We should have oh, future Flally, cut back out the... through the interview, like, you know, because I'll listen to it in post-production because, you know, I edit the thing. Like, Maggot didn't say anything nearly as bad as the stuff D-Max was saying on Twitter mm -hmm. that got mm -hmm. him in the shit. It was mainly more or less just maggot saying that it was like sus that the money wasn't held in escrow by like you know wasn't held in escrow and that uh he was like on Doug's the playing PR. Stream He's saying playing PR. he was unsure so if of, she didn't oh go ahead Lamp. like like she was like that like on the k hug stream that uh magnetar was unsure of whether he was going to go through with the lawsuit or not but i mean even okay so i took that interpretation the first time but I went back, and it's not that he was unsure that he was going to go through it. He literally just said, like, in a perfect world, I wouldn't, like, that's not what I would want. Like, no one wants to go to fucking court and spend, like, months of fucking stressing whether, like, imagine waking up every day having to talk to your lawyer being like, fuck, am I even going to win this? Is it even worth the fight? Yeah. Like, is this going to be just make everything worse? Am I even yeah. doing the right thing? Like, it's totally understandable. No so, one wants to fucking go to court unless you're crazy. Let me, Echo, you do make a good point. Next time, um, Maggot, if something bad happens to you, like let's say a tort happens to you through somebody's, My DMs are open. Through somebody's negligence and some somebody like hurts you because or you're emotionally damaged because somebody hurt your feelings or somebody did something wrong to you in your personal life and you feel the need to do and you're trying to raise money to sue, I'm going to go ahead and call you a scammer. I'll just flat out call you a scammer um, and make an implication. <laughs> If you're going to sit there and like try and, and it's, it's fine to have the reasonable doubt. It's okay to have reasonable doubt. It's okay to be skeptical. But when you use the word lull suit, that kind of takes the removal from it. And to even go back with like what Lamp was saying, um, like if, if Maggot wasn't saying a whole lot of stuff that was that bad, then why the fuck is she acting the way that she's acting right now? Why is she go? Why is she going so fucking hard for D Max or people? Your boyfriend. Like those. Yeah, I get those are those are your internet friends. You don't want to see them struggle, but like, come on, really? Mm. And you're really gonna cope about no or Nicholas Diorio pushing back on you? Maybe That's don't like quote tweet Lord thing. Triton, and you won't get like. And Th this is another thing where that's, it's just like, that's the fucking craziest part. This is another Trident thing is the guy you take swing at and nothing ever happens. The fact this happened because she took a swing at Trident is like <laughs> kind of insane. Who? But that's I'm sorry, I, was, I had to go grab something. What happened? Uh, Maggot, Maggot. Well, this wouldn't have started if fucking Maggot didn't take the swing at, or Nick wouldn't have like said really anything about it if Maggot didn't take the swing at uh, Trident. But to pair post. off what to pair off what you're saying, Echo, is that. Like, you're going to, when you grow in numbers, you're going to get noticed. Like, mm. Maggot has definitely gotten her name into commentary. In fact, she her name has been in into commentary longer than I have. She used to call into Xyli shows all the time. Before I even started uh, live streaming, she's been here longer than me. You would think, as you grow your dumb takes are going to get noticed by bigger, bigger people. Yeah. It's crazy that a Lord Triton post triggered that, but it's like maggot, you get noticed on a lot of levels. If you're going to say something stupid and Nicholas Diorio doesn't really agree with you, you can't fucking cry about it. Like grow the fuck up, grow up. Mm. 
Okay, go ahead. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify to people though that uh, you know, there's basically three people that have the power to put out this cut. It's you know myself because I'm the editor, Doug because it's his show, and Maggot as well because she has access to it. If she I mean, feels like she needs to post it. What is this to like a clarify nuclear things on her code? Do we need I kind three keys I... to drop this thing. What the fuck? <laughs> no, they just need I one. Mean, yeah, I mean, if Doug if Doug says it's okay to share it, I will share it, but that's up to him. I mean, my biggest problem with this is like like this kind of reminds me of like Wyman recording where like Aussie had like it was the only reason the podcast ended is cuz Aussie wanted to attend. None of the girls really like felt like it should end that way it's just she had such a power trip about it because it's my podcast it's on my channel and i do it the way i want Ego. and i kind of yeah. feel like that's i kind of get in that it's vibe just, right I now don't with wanna, doug. yeah it's just i don't want to you know go behind doug's back and post it like that because you know it's his show to be fair but, i mean yeah. does everyone i, under, mad. I was like, i was, I was never pissed off if someone went behind my back and posted a segment that i didn't want in I don't know, bro. So I think that shit's I mean, hilarious. Half the time, even there was, there was just one time I had cut something out of my stream, and I told so. I I think I even told Echo, "Hey, bro, you should just clip that from my <laughs> clip this from this that and post dumb. it." That's like saying AWT's <laughs> oh, my yeah. show when um we're sitting here literally in Chthonics Discord on my channel. It's so, <laughs> that's so gay, bro. It's such a gay way to think about it. I mean, because yeah. it it kind of comes off like the other calls don't have like an input on this. That's what I'm saying. It's like, do they were they? They were just as much a part of the creative process as you were. They were talking about the same topics you were. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's so. That's so. Uh, I don't know. That it just be, look. At, I, the I know. I to think about. I don't know. That rubs me wrong. Like I, I know. I said I don't like Doug, but yeah, I wouldn't I mean, want it's him. It's just to a like... professional thing, though. To be fair, like it's I a professional. Thing. Doug I can't pushing. believe you don't like Doug. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like d- completely Doug. Doug. I like you know, Doug. Leia, you yeah. could watch you could watch the final cut, all right. No, Bruce just burned. Go fuck you. Go oh fuck my you god, know. again? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> wait, the, wait, this bridge rebuilt because of Doug, all right? I mean, not in the good way. Dude. Look, our, the, okay, first our bridge built burnt because of tipster, Dude, and then our bridge. Who invited this rebuilt? loser to that show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bridge is not burnt. I don't care. All right. Well, I mean, that's some. That's more than uh, the other three people that we were talking about oh! earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are? Oh God. Oh, well, okay. Like, let me oh. let me read you Wait, guys a tweet. Who are the other three people that we were talking about earlier? Well, I can I can actually there's... I can read you a tweet. Yeah. Um. Lol. Not anymore because I'm blocking anyone and everyone who took part in the Peapod Dmax smear campaign. Culp and Mall. Dude, she edit. literally said that. She literally said that. Fucking bitch. She's. It's like, bro. okay, like, what do you confirm as a smear campaign? Like, just because people think your friends are fucking retards, does that mean they smeared them? Are they yes. talking about because people covered it or because they took sides? That's my main thing. Because they didn't, they blo- didn't they didn't they uh, block Whoa. Badwick? Because. Badwick wasn't he took both like was like pretty um Badwick's good about been fairly neutral. Yeah, Wait, they neutral blocked there, like, Badwick? Yeah, like literally, I've talked to Badwick about this whole situation. His take is literally that he hates to see that it had to end this way and everything had to be so hyperbolic and gay. I'm gonna tell her to block me too. She might as well. He thinks that mistakes were made along the way. As well, like I, I mean, I agree with Badwick here. Okay, Badwick bridge, bridge built again. <laughs> yes. Is that like with wood or what? what happened here. Shut the fuck up, Baron. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's with twigs. Okay. It's, it's with popsicle twigs. sticks. Damn. Yeah. This is this is a very good okay, fucking I, episode. I'm getting a little bit ballsy. I'm gonna just move the cup of wine away from me. I'm not away. I'm not drunk. I'm not an alcoholic, but I'm just getting a little Dude, ballsy. Right she's, she's, I mean, she's not beating the, the trans people, allegations. Most of us most people, go ham. Yeah, most yeah, of I'm us. never beating that. Yeah, well most of the people of this call are alcoholics. Echo hey, but, whoa, whoa. but <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. Wait, I'm not did, even drinking at this I moment. As offended, he didn't call me out. Why did I? <laughs> I, mean, I drink we like should, once every four months. So. We should do like a toast to like. We should do Yo, like a Kira Toriyama. No, R.I.P. Ten episodes. No, no, we'll R- no R.I.P. Blasted. Richard Lewis. 
Dude, oh, no. he died last month, all right? This month is Akira Toriyama, all right? Guys, episode <laughs> 10. I'm hitting my go. wine glass like it's a triangle. <laughs> Richard Lewis. Boss right. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Richard whoa. Lewis was so last month, Leia. Come Dude. on. Oh, my God. Leia? He's Jewish. It's never last month. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is so fucked up. Leia stole fucking Liana's one thing. Oh, she's Australian? Yeah. The tri- sure no, the triangle. Oh. I'm sure she'll understand. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God, I missed it. Dude, if the bullying does not stop, she'll leave. In the Dude. name of Richard Lewis, I get to do that. <laughs> in, the <name> <laughs> in the name of Richard Lewis and Adam Morsky, I'll not, not Go Canaro or whatever the fuck Dude. his name is. Who Dude. Get- gives a fuck about dude goku could character. totally be yeah. richard lewis oh you don't goku, like Gokunaru? goku goku sounds like a german word for yogurt bro what, what, what? okay 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 let me ask did this guy make naruto no, no actually if it wasn't for if it wasn't for kishi uh for akira toriyama one piece and dra- and fucking naruto would not exist okay did he make dragon ball z mm-hmm. yes Damn, oh, Spectre okay. Ratio and Queeman, though. Holy shit. Wait, Wait he did? What? Yeah, Queen, he watched Queen Queeman and ratioed him. Who? What is Spectre? Spectre. Oh, Spectre. No fucking way. What about Spectre? Yeah, Spectre yeah, Spectre's uh, quote tweet of Queeman's tweet has 30 likes and Queeman's has 21. Oh, oh my god. He's small. Dude, yeah. he's coping in the fucking reply. He's like, I don't respect yeah. racists. And he's getting what? ratioed again. It's just. Wait, wait, weird. wait. When was. When was D Max racist? No, he's talking, he's about, talking about Toriyama. He's, yeah, he's talking oh. about yeah, he's talking about Toriyama. Oh, like, Toriyama okay. just Wait, thought it was funny. Racist? No, 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 no. People, hmm? no, no. You don't understand. Like Akira Tor- understand. Toriyama just thought it was kind of funny that you know he drew a black guy in the show. Wait, and like the most racist caricature. You want to know? Who, you want to know who wouldn't do that? Richard Lewis. Okay. Oh, he cares, not bro. He cares that he's a Jew, okay? We can move on. Who cares? All right, all right. <laughs> Future <laughs> Flatley, please care? take out the, the, the anti-Semitism that is uh, McMaldin over here. I'm not anti-Semitic. That's a lie. Yeah, he's no one believed it. Jewish. Future he's Flatley, don't Israel. listen to them. Don't let them bully you. Dude, it's going to happen again. He's just going to leave it in. I, I didn't leave right. it in last time. I just cut out. Exactly what we talked about, so everyone could speculate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He, then, then the party like, kept oh, in. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, hey, by on, the way, on. can you take out what happened? And you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Get away. Yeah, that's but, perfect. But, like, but when you do that, go on Twitter and announce it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be like, guys, I had to cut this out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what we had to cut out, but just know I still have it on my hard drive. And so do three and, other people. And maybe three years later, I'll post it to the Expose Burn. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> I don't care, man. Okay, so final thoughts. What do you guys think? About Everyone should go outside. Everything. Start hitting the gym. Take some boxing classes. Maybe do, you know, painting with a twist. That's where, you, you know, you learn how to draw an owl with some different paint strokes. Sip some wine. You know what I'm saying? And then when the shit hits the fan, uh, throw that fan out. Who gives a fuck? This shit has shit on it, bro. Fuck that fan, bro. You know, just keep going with your life. It's all right. All right. <laughs> Disclaimer: I am not a medical expert, but you can also smoke ketamine and post nine hundred times a day on Twitter, like too mad. Yeah. Okay. So my final and thoughts go out are in spectacular fashion. If you throw bricks, that's a good at, final thought. If you that's throw a good bricks, final I want. Yeah. I have a final fact. Ketamine. A final fact. Are you guys ready for this? One? Ketamine. <laughs> yeah. If you throw a brick at someone who was lactose intolerant, you throw it at their head, right? Yeah. yeah, they died just the same way as the rest of us non-lactose intolerant people. I found that out. I found that shit out on Reddit. I fucking hate you. That shit is... <laughs> okay, but, you know that is true. Is, flatly, is my life has changed. It's true. Bro. Okay. What okay. Are, what are, my what are your final thoughts? Yeah. My final thoughts. Okay, with how the fuck did I drink eight beers what? in the span of? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be a whore? But uh. <laughs> My, oh, I, mean, I guess my final thoughts on the, like the main main topic, I guess, would be like the D Max, uh, Megan people shit. Um, yeah, D Max, you kind of being you kind of being weird about it. I don't. I just want to say that I, I think that's. And tell your mom to stop posting it on Twitter, please. Yeah. Not helping you right now, bro. Please. No, but she oh, needs yeah. to spank everybody, dude. No, bro. <laughs> 
Uh, where's the line? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy that Anissa Jama and D Max have something in common. Dude, their mothers, dude. their mothers, their what mothers playing defense. Yeah, what if Peepaw becomes D Max's stepdad, bro? <laughs> the dude, dude, what if Peepaw's mom? Decides to step in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. wait okay, okay, okay. mom okay. steps in and dates no. D-Max Did while really people like... becomes D-Max's stepdad. Whoa, mother lovers? And then Damn it. They can fuck that each other, mother? Peepaw, the step-grandfather... <laughs> To D Max's oh. stepkids with Megan. All right, all right, all right. I think this episode's done. Okay, fuck well, this. Shit. <laughs> but... um, my final thoughts Wait, are: yeah. D Max, you should get your dick sucked by Maggot. She would probably like be impaled by you. Oh, um, K Huck, uh, I was harsh on you before, but now that you've explained it to me, like, I get it. Okay. Um, Richard Lewis, R.I.P. Fuck the random ass Dragon Ball Z creator that uh died. You're gonna get ratioed on Twitter. Hope you know I that. Hate, I hate <laughs> that I understand where the impaling reference comes from. We all do. We were all there, getting impaled. Colors you know what it is? <laughs> Wait, but you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ghosty lore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Ghosty. Holy shit. All right. Ghosty okay, Am I the last are... one? No, Burn has to oh yeah. You, I didn't you even know, finish, I didn't even finish my final Shut statement. Up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay, all right, I'm gonna make my fattest because I like we're already getting too long. Uh no. I guess the Magnet edits, just keep doing your content, you know, kinda don't don't soft block people over talking about your drama. I think it's pretty gay. Uh people, you're kind of a you're kind of a pussy for leaving the internet over uh some minuscule drama that you could have bounced back for and you've done the same to other people, so I think you're pretty gay for that. Um so yeah, that's my final sermon. Okay. Burn or echo? Burn first. Uh, um I mean I already said my piece on that one. I think D Max needs to get off his high horse and realize that he's not with now recording anymore. I think like like he's gotta realize that like his takes are gonna be more like now taken less seriously now that like you know he's down the pole. Um Peepaw, even though like he's gone, you know, people can come back. Even if he like he's got he's, he's just gonna have to do something different, not like come back to what he was doing. And Maggot, I don't really give a fuck. Who cares? Yeah. Okay, Echo of Tragedy, you go. All right, so I don't know what we have to have last thoughts. You know, I plan on having more thoughts, you know, echoes and all. <laughs> but um, my take on this whole thing, dude, fucking this shit's really fucking gay. Everyone should just jump off. I'm down. Like a bridge you know or what? something, I don't know. You know what? I'm down, guys. In this, Minecraft. This show, if it comes out, we yeah, didn't like, with Darcy. We pussied out. We got scared. <laughs> if this episode yeah. doesn't come out there's no way anyone's gonna hear it anyway so and whoever did you know ended up going through with it we'll just cut him out of the episode yeah, so, so you're, um you're gone buddy so so fucking uh ghosty any last words you can end it there perfect okay. perfect perfect then <laughs> who's doing the outro that was the think... outro. Oh shit. All right. Uh, what about... <laughs> well, we never asked Tipster what he thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tipster. What think? I think Maggot added to come and suck my dick.